What's up, everyone? Today I'll be showing you how you can make a power inverter with just a few components. The IC I'll be using is the TL494 passive moderation IC. So you'll also need a bunch of other components. The power MOSFETs, I recommend you use the IRF3205. The they have a quite high current capacity of 100 amperes. So this inverter should have no problem whatsoever outputting more than 800 watts. So at the input you have your 12 volts battery and the stabilization capacitor. Ensure the capacitor is at least more than 3000 microfarads. Okay, the TL494 is configured to operate as a push-pull driver. The frequency is generated by the capacitor C2 and resistor R1. The frequency is 50 kHz. The formula is this one. You can tune this to different parameters. If you want a regular inverter, you can change the value of R or C1 to about 1 microfarads and it should work okay so the inverter has an output regulation you can get DC as well as high frequency AC if you desire so the way th this works is first there's a soft start by this circuit here so this ensures that the output passive moderation increases gradually from 0 to about 95 percent this so as to reduce the um, stress on the part MOSFETs when the inverter is powered on so there are uh, two regulations one for the current on the second ray and the voltage on the second ray so this will allow you to vary the output dc voltage second ray from about 50 to 320 volts also current sensing on the second ray is achieved whereby when there is a voltage drop of about one volts here there will be feedback to compensate for the duty cycle so that it will reduce and this will reduce the current being pumped to the secondary side. This acts as a short circuit protection. So when the emitter pin 9E1 is high, MOSFET Q1 conducts and current will flow from the 12 volts rail through the first primary half winding through the MOSFET into ground. When it gets low and E1, E2 or pin 10 gets high, Q2 will conduct and current to flow through the other half primary winding. Push pull inverter toporanges usually have a high wattage output capacity, and depending on the transformer size, you can obtain even more than a thousand watts. If you want to use a ferrite, I recommend you use one with a cross section area of at least 1.5 centimeters squared, since that can easily handle about 500 watts at 50 kilohertz. So, on your secondary side, you have this bridge rectifier which rectifies the high frequency AC or even low frequency AC so that you'll have a nice DC voltage here and this is the one which is split by this resistant divider network for feedback regulation and by changing the position of the potentiometer RV1 you can adjust the output voltage to any desired value so the output voltage in AC will not vary but the on time will vary meaning that the output power is the one which will be varied but if you have a DC output it will be completely variable from a variety of ranges from about 50 to 320 volts depending on the turns ratio for the primary I recommend you use four turns on each side and for the secondary this depends on the voltage that you desire you can have at least 75 turns and some basically that's all it the PCB looks as shown a nice PCB here you have your battery the input capacitor output capacitor the connections to the primary of the transformer the power MOSFET the IC and its biasing circuit the potentiometer and this is how the board looks like it's a really tiny board it covers about eight by seven centimeters so this is the bottom side this is the top side these are the side views this is a bridge And basically that's all about this inverter project please don't forget to like this video and i would appreciate so much if you subscribe to my channel and click the notification icon to get future updates when i upload new videos have a nice time